Welcome everyone, this is Joy of Joy Morris Beauty and in this video I'm going to be sharing how I make my DIY lock spray, so stay tuned! So I've been getting a lot of questions lately about um, my lock routine and the type of things that I use in my hair and things like that. And I actually have kind of evolved over the past almost a year and a half actually that I've had locks. When I first um, started with locks, I was only using water and then I started adding and mixing in different things to kind of get where I am now. So someone asked me about a week ago, um, you know, what, what lock spray do you use? What do you use in your hair? So um, after getting the question so many times, I decided to just film this video to show you all what I use in my DIY lock spray. So my bottle is completely empty. It's perfect time for me um, to show you because I need to kind of refill. So first things first, um, as many people in the lock community, community do, I use a continuous sprayer because nobody has time to do this a hundred different times. So I use my continuous sprayer and um, one of the, the main um, things that I've used for a very long time is um, aloe vera juice. So when I big chop my hair, um, which I actually filmed on the channel, um, if you haven't checked that out, you may want to do so. <laughs> when I was preparing, um, you know, I, I hadn't made the decision yet to get locks, but when I did big chop my hair, I did it um, on camera because I knew it was something I'd always want to remember. So I actually used um, aloe vera gel that I kind of like massaged through my hair and it made it really easy to tell the difference between the new growth and um, the relaxed hair. So I was able to cut it out. And um, my hair from my big chop, that last cut, that's the last cut I've ever had on my hair. So um, it worked out really well because, you know, my hair is layered really nicely now with me, um, you know, having my sister locks and it's the exact same cut for my big chop. So that kind of hipped me on to like aloe vera products and things like that. So once I finally got my sister locks installed and I started experimenting with different things, I said, well, let me try out aloe vera juice. That might be better for me than water. Um, I, I do not like rose water. I don't like the smell of it. it smells like urine to me or so. Uh, I can't put that in my hair. <laughs> so I'd rather have dry crispy locks than put that in my hair. But I said, I have to find something else that works for me. So I've been using aloe vera juice for a while. And sometimes, you know, I'll pick this up when I see it. Um, I've also just bought generic aloe vera juice from like a, a, like a big box store, like Walmart or Target. Um, and then I'll just uh, pour it in my spray bottle. And for a while, I was um, kind of doing half and half with water and aloe vera, but at this point, I just I just use it straight because I'm like, why not? So I just fill that up almost to the top. And I have discovered, you know, I have 4C hair. And um, well, I have a little bit of 4A in the front, literally like my bangs, they have little tiny coils. And then um, the rest of my hair is 4C, which means it doesn't really have um, too much of a discernible curl to it or coil. It's just very cottony hair. It's prone to being dry and things like that. So, um, you know, I knew I wanted a little bit of oil. Um, so I use jojoba oil and I just kind of, you know, put in a squirt or two. Um, and I'll put all these products, you know, I'll link them in the description. Also, if you're, you know, not sure where to pick them up from, I'll, I'll put place Amazon links in the description for those of you who don't know where to pick them up from. Um, but yeah, I just put a couple of squirts in so you can kind of see the difference there between the water um, or the aloe vera juice and the oil. And um, there's another loctician um, in this space who has kind of talked about um, the importance of using different products that help the oil and the water mix like polysorbate 80 which I'll link her video to in the description because I think it'd be interesting for you. I haven't picked it up yet um, just because I haven't had the chance to do so, but I may eventually add some sort of product like that that does a better job of actually mixing the oil and the water together. So I won't have to like shake, shake, shake before I use it. Um, Cause like I said, I'm continuing to kind of like refine my spray and what it is that I use. But um, I have these two ingredients so far. And then a recent addition for me, I was kind of scared to add this in, but I said, let's try this. So I've started adding glycerin into my hair, my lock spray. And I was nervous about that at first because, you know, especially when you have the micro locks, you have to be careful that you don't 
uh, make your hair overly moist so that you know you're not um, you know softening the locks so that they don't unravel and things like that but I've been locked at this point for like almost a year and a half and like I said I have 4C hair that um, you know started the locking process pretty early um, so I don't, I'm not afraid I'll say at this point and I haven't experienced any issues with my locks unraveling so um, I just added this a uh, couple weeks ago and I just put a squirt in because I'm not a chemist, I'm not a mixologist, I'm not any of those things. I'm just kind of like a DIYer at home, trying things at home, um, not giving out any professional advice of any kind. This is just me trying things at home. So um, the glycerin, when I added it, and I know that's like used in a lot of products to kind of add moisture to help, um, you know, whatever you're applying it on, retain moisture. And when I added the glycerin to my spray, I noticed quite a noticeable difference my hair like instantly but then the next day it felt so much softer um to the touch not like oh god it's so soft but um you know just just a little bit softer like I said I do have 4c hair um so my locks they're not um you know people have different textures of hair some some coil and curl patterns are softer than others I think mine tends to be a lot towards like the coarser side my hair is very coarse so it can feel you know like almost a little rough even though it's not necessarily dry it can still feel like a little rough to it because of you know just the way my hair is set up but adding the glycerin gives it a little bit of um, just a little bit of softness which I have really really liked so I'm not gonna be leaving that out of the routine anytime soon so that's pretty much it I take the three and then I put my top on um, and this is one big thing too if you see this rim up here I usually feel feel it right below the rim because if not all of the you know goodies will kind of spill out and it makes a big mess um, and then I just kind of mix it together it's like I said the oil and the water they're kind of floating in a free floating in the water together I used to put in essential oils but as I said I haven't had any time to experiment with um, some of the types of products that you would need to add into the spray to get the oil and the water to mix properly and so, um, yeah, I learned this from the other video that I'll link the, the polysorbate 80 video, um, you know, where she was basically saying that if, if you're not doing that, then, you know, if you're using essential oils, which just because it's natural doesn't mean it's not powerful. And, um, you know, a lot of essential oils have medicinal purposes, which I'm not really versed at. So I kind of like wade in that water very slowly. But, um, you know, if you were to put essential oils in here without including like the products that really properly mix it together. You might get like a big glob of essential oil when you're spraying and then that goes on your scalp and that that's like too concentrated, you know, for what your scalp needs. And it might, you know, that that might not be good for your scalp. So for that reason, I actually laid up on adding, um, I eased up on adding essential oils right now until I have a little more time to kind of play around with other things to mix in. So I'm happy with this, my aloe vera, my jojoba and my glycerin just kind of mixing it together and then just just spraying it i just washed my hair today um you know my my sister locks are always nice and bouncy but the the older they get they get a little more heavier um so that it gives you like that weight so that you can kind of shake it but they're still they still have like a lot of volume too they're just i i love them i love them more and more every day but um this is my spray that i use when i wake up in the morning and i concentrate mostly on my scalp um, if my hair seems like it needs a little more than I do spray on my locks too Especially if they seem like they kind of got like jumbled overnight or something like that uh, Most of the times too when I shower I don't use um, like a shower What is it called like you know like a shower bonnet basically I don't shower cap I don't use those so I can kind of let the steam get in my hair Because as I said my hair is really coarse so you know, I'm trying to kind of, without breaking the rules and using conditioner, <laughs> I'm trying to get all the moisture from all the sources that I can kind of kind of seep it from. So it's working out for me. Just wanted to share if you guys might be interested in trying my mixture. Um, so I'd love to hear and see if you are using this or something similar. Um, go ahead and leave some comments for me and I'll make sure to get back to you. Thanks so much and take care. Bye.